हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम द क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड ऑब्वियसली वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट जनरेटिंग फंक्शन एंड कैनोनिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज देयर बट येस इट इज वेरी डीप रूटेड क्वेश्चन दिस इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन सो रियली दिस वन इज नाइस प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट वी हैव वी हैव वन पर्टिकुलर जनरेटिंग फंक्शन एंड दैट इज function of a small p and a small q don't confuse it with the f3 type generating function so because you can treat only those function as a generating function which will just go for the exact differential the function which is can be treated as a perfect differential they can be only treated as a generating function so it's a very interesting तो कहीं कुछ बच्चे इसे F3 थ्री टाइप जेनेटिंग फंक्शन मानकर करेंगे तो वो सीधा सीधा गलत हो जाएगा और एब्सर्ड आंसर आएगा नाउ लुक एट सो देर इज सम कॉन्स्टेंट इज गिवन एंड दिस साई पी क्यू इज डिफाइंड समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस साई इज पी क्यू माइनस एफ सो इट इज गिवन दैट साई इज इक्वल टू पी क्यू माइनस एफ दिस इज गिवन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन दिस डी एफ हैज प्रोपर्टी and this df has property that value is equal to p dq minus p capital capital p capital dq so this has this particular thing so let's see for which particular function this particular psi is going to be perfect differential and what is the form of this perfect differential differential so when we will go for this particular psi then this psi is equal to d psi is equal to dp q plus p dq minus df and then we will go for q dp plus p dq df is given and that value is equal to minus small p dq so this is small p dq minus minus plus capital p dq and what will happen this p dq p dq is cancel out so we have d psi is equal to q dp plus p dq now this is a wonderful thing so is cheez ko agar aap dekhte ho to aap yahan par ek generating function create kar rahe ho jiska jo canonically variable ke sath kis tarah se ho aayega wo hum zara dekhte hain so then what is going to happen del psi upon del p is equal to small q and what you have del psi upon del capital q is equal to capital p so here this is catch one kyunki agar aapne yahan par psi ko f3 type generating function galti se treat kar liya to dono negative ho jayenge aur aapka answer absurd aa jayega ya fir wrong answer aayega so here this is my relationship for the two conjugate variable so once we have this two conjugate variable then we can go for next level so let's try to go for next level so what do we have we have our psi and this psi is a function of small p and capital q and this value is equal to p square upon 2 omega tan 2 pi capital q and here we have d psi is equal to and this d psi we can find in the previous one that is q dp plus p dq so that value is equal to so p sorry this will be just a minute that will is q dp minus plus p dq so next one is q dp q dp plus p dq so this is my d psi and from there we have del psi upon del small p is equal to small q and we have del psi upon del capital q is equal to capital p now we can use now you can solve it very nicely so the most important concept whatever we have done up to that and now up to that is very mechanical thing so we have to just go for d psi upon dp is equal to p upon omega tan 2 pi capital q is equal to q 
and for the second equation del psi upon del q that value is equal to p square upon 2 omega and this is 2 pi sec square 2 pi capital Q is equal to so capital P. So from there we can find the value of a small p and the value of a small p is equal to or p square is equal to 2 omega p by 2 pi and that value is equal to cos square 2 pi q and from there we can find the value of uh, small p so we can find the value of small p that value is equal to root under omega capital p upon pi and that is cos 2 pi capital q and it is also given at the some particular time pt is omega 4 pi by t square and qt is some constant so we can put the value of capital p here so that is small p is equal to root under omega square t so this will be t to the power 4 and we have 4 pi square cos 2 pi capital q naught and small p is equal to omega t square upon 2 pi cos 2 pi capital Q. So, this is my small p. So, small p, the first step. So, this will be something like, just a minute. This is p, t, so this will be t square, not t. So, this will be t square. So, this will be t square. And that value is t. So, this will be our option. So, first option is correct. And from the first option, we can check it that option number one is correct, but we can also find the Q part also. So we can put the P part here. Then when we will put the P part here, then Q is equal to, so we can solve the value of Q and this small p is given by omega t upon 2 pi into omega and that is 10 2 pi q into we have cos 2 pi capital Q. So Q is equal to this omega will gone T upon 2 pi sine 2 pi Q naught. So we can put this particular value of Q. So this will be the second one we can easily verify it. So yes, the option number one is correct. So students in this examination you can see that unless until you will not have a, you have not a complete study about the topic superficial study say aapka koi kaam nahi chalega complete study karni padegi now you can see everything is given there everything so first what should be the nature of generating function once you have calculated then you can have this sort of a uh, relationship and you can find n number of generating function in this way so this is very interesting and always and then you can have the what is perfect differential so perfect differential ka aapko pata hona chahiye property and then you can have this particular uh, skill or acumen of solving the problem so jab tak aap is tarah se nahi approach karoge ab ke samay mein exam qualify karna next to impossible hai so students agar kisi bhi tarah ka advice dena ho then please you can just give me thank you so option number 1 is correct Thank you.